Hi everyone, today we are going to solve another word problem using Singapore math models and also you solve the problem using algebra. Let's dive straight into the problem. At a party, there were an equal number of boys and girls at first. Halfway during the party, 12 boys left and 8 girls joined. In the end, there were thrice as many girls as boys. What this statement tells you is that the number of girls were three times the number of boys at the end of the party. How many boys were there at the party at first? So we can actually, when you look at this question, there are three distinct set of information that you can look at. One is before, at the beginning of the party, the number of boys and girls were equal. Second, there is a change. In the middle of the party, 12 boys left and 8 girls joined. So at the end, what happens? There will be 12 less boys and 8 more girls. And now the number of girls uh, become 3 times the number of boys. So then we are asked to find out the number of boys at the party at first. So we go ahead and take the first information. At the party, there were an equal number of boys and girls at first. So let's say boys, we draw a model for boys. This represents the total number of boys at the party in the beginning. And girls, there were an equal number of girls. So girls will also have the same sized model diagram that you see here. Then what happens? Halfway during the party, uh, 12 boys left the party and 8 girls joined. So 12, this 12 is gone, 12 boys. We are just arbitrarily taking some size here and saying this 12 is gone and 8 girls joined the party. So additionally, there is an 8 added here. So we are just going to mark this out because this is going to be gone away. So we just want to know that the size of this is actually a constant number 12 and this is 8 here. So this whole thing from here to here we know is actually made of 12 students and 8 students here. Now at the end what happened? In the end there were thrice or three times as many girls as boys or the number of girls was three times the number of boys. Assuming this is the boys that is left so if we assume this to be one unit, girls should have three units here. So if this is one unit, the whole remaining here should be actually two units because the girls should have three times the number of boys. So here we should have three units and based on the size, we can very clearly see that if this is one unit, this exact size here would become one unit. So the rest of the two units will have to come out of this, which is 12 plus 8. So we can see that two units here is equal to 12 plus 8. And that is equal to 20. And one unit represents 10 students here. Now we come back to the question, how many boys were there at the party at first? Uh, the number of boys at the party at first we know that is one unit plus 12. It was up to here, right? So that's 12 plus one unit. So number of boys at first is one unit plus 12. And we know that one unit is 10 students. So here is 10 plus 12. So the number of boys at the party in the beginning was 22. Hope this is clear. This is, I would say, rather a simple a uh, question to solve using model method and model method makes it easy to solve this kind of problem. Now let's take a look at how to solve the same problem using algebra method. right? And we will also see how to form equations for word problems. I'll just go through the question once again. At a party, there were an equal number of boys and girls at first. Halfway during the party, 12 boys left the party and 8 girls joined. In the end, there were 3 times as many girls as boys or there were thrice as many girls as boys. How many boys were there at the party at first? So, as we said earlier, it's 
we have to first, there are three distinct set of information that we have here, but first let's take the first set of information. There were an equal number of boys and girls at first. <laughs> in algebra, we'll make an assumption saying, let x be equal to the number of boys at the party at first. And let y be the number of girls in the party at first. Just like the models, instead of models, we are just using x and y to denote that. So, in the beginning what happens, there were an equal number of boys and girls, right? So, we know that x is equal to y. So, that is equation number 1 for us. Then what happened, 12 boys left, which means the num remaining number of boys would be x minus 12. And 8 girls joined the party. So, the girls remaining would increase meaning y plus 8. After this increase in the girls and the reduction in the boys, the number of girls left became 3 times the number of boys. So, for y, we know that y becomes y plus 8. And this number of girls here is equal to 3 times the number of boys left. The number of boys left is x minus 12. And this amount is 3 times that. So that is our second equation. Now we have formed two equations. We have to solve these equations. One simple method is called substitution method, whereby we substitute the value from one equation to another. We know that y is equal to x, which means here y can be replaced with x. So substituting the value of y from equation 1 in equation 2, what happens? Instead of this y, we will have x. 3 times x minus 12 equals y plus 8 and that y uh, is equal to x. So we substitute x here. When we multiply this, 3 times x gives 3x and 3 times 12 gives you 36. So 3x minus 36 equals x plus 8. Whenever we multiply, we multiply with each of the individual elements inside the brackets here. So 3x minus 12 is equal to x plus 8. And in any equation, we can do operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication and division on both sides as long as the equality is not affected. So we know that if we add both sides with the same number or subtract both sides, multiply or divide both sides with the same quantity or number, the equality holds good. So, we are now going to get rid of this x. So, we can multiply both, sorry, we can, uh, we can subtract both sides by x. So, that means 3x minus x would become 2x. This remains as it is, minus 636 is equal to, and x minus x cancels out. So, remaining is 8. So, 2x minus 36 is equal to 8. And... Then we want to remove this 36 here. So what we could do is add 36 on both sides, which means minus 36 plus 36 gets cancelled out and you have additional 36 over here. So that will become 2x is equal to 8 plus 36. And 2x is equal to 44, which means x is equal to 22. Now the question says how many boys were there in the party at first? So we know that in the beginning x is the number of represents the number of boys at the party right so x is the value that we are after so x is equal to 22 which means the number of boys at the beginning of the party was number 22 hope this is clear if you have any questions comments please uh, put them in the comment section if you have new questions to solve please include them i will be glad to uh, try to do my best to solve them as soon as possible if you like this video, give a thumbs up and share it with your friends, subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click on the bell icon to receive notifications when I upload new videos. Have a great day. Bye.